Hey guys, John V here again from Phone Arena. I've been checking out the HP Touchpad recently and I'm just going to quickly show you the uh, web browsing experience with it against the iPad 2. I have both uh, tablets, uh, the iPad 2 being on the left and the uh, Touchpad being on the right. We're connected to the same Wi-Fi network so data speed should hopefully, hopefully be the same. Um, and of course there shouldn't be any outside uh, other things to affect it. So let's quickly show you. Let me just show you real quick. First thing, kinetic scrolling. That's one of the first things that really captures our attention as to the overall web browsing experience. You can tell right off the bat with the uh, touchpad on the right, it's a little bit choppy with its movements. Not as fluid as we'd like. You could notice that even when you're going very quickly. Not as responsive as we'd like. Um, it's worth noting that the two tablets support the same size display, 9.7 inches, and the same resolution, 1024 by 768. In the zoomed out view, it's kind of difficult to make out the text or read them out. Um, when you do uh, zoom in, let's just quickly double tap here, you can tell it's very easily, it's easily uh, readable. Um, also, at the same time, we just noticed that the iPad 2's display is a little bit more, a little bit brighter, actually a lot more brighter than the uh, touchpad, so it's higher contrast, makes it a little bit easier to read. Uh, the other thing is pinch gestures, you could tell. Again, kind of choppy and a little bit of a delay with the uh, touchpad versus the smooth movements of the iPad 2. But the one key thing that the uh, touchpad has that the iPad does, iPad 2 doesn't, you could tell probably here on the home screen with the flash ads, it does, ha it does support flash. Um, so let's quickly sh let me sh quickly show you that here. Let me just load up a, let's get back to another page. We have the uh, HTC Evo 3D review up right here. With the iPad 2, of course, it doesn't do anything if you click on it uh, because it doesn't support flash while it does load up here with the uh, touchpad. So let's double tap and of course you could, you, you just read that, you could, uh, you could basically um, interact with it. So you can move it around, you could tell. Again, it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. It gives you that desktop-like feel. That's the uh, biggest advantage, of course. So that's pretty neat. And um, the last thing I'm just going to show you here is just the... Uh, the experience as far as loading up web pages here. Let's quickly get another thing here loaded. So let's start with, uh, let's say, actually let's go up here. Let's uh, go to the uh, reviews uh, tab here. I'm just going to open this up in a new window. So let's see which one loads up here first. So there we go. So now they're both loading. And it's a new page we haven't checked out yet. So let's see which one's going to load up. And the iPad 2 is first to display the uh, the uh, images here. And the touchpad is still waiting around. And it's pretty much almost done. There you go. You notice just a little bit more instantaneous. You could start, obviously, uh, navigating as it's still loading. But the iPad 2 seems like to have the the advantage. Accidentally clicked the uh, link there. But right off the bat, you could tell that the iPad 2 is processing it a little bit faster and, dis and rendering it. Uh, just to give you that instantaneous uh, navigation right away. But still, we'll be testing it out, seeing how it works with the touchpad, and we'll see how it works. So if you'd like to learn more about this, you can check our website, phonerena.com.